Saskatchewan appears to have scored a big win as the provincial government continues to resist the federal carbon tax. According to the provincial government, they are now the only recognized distributor of natural gas in Saskatchewan. So, why does that matter? This all goes back to a decision by the federal government. Last year, Ottawa chose to pause the carbon tax on home heating oil. Natural gas wasn't included, and the province thinks that's unfair. The minister responsible for Sask Energy, Dustin Duncan, even vowed to stop collecting the carbon tax on natural gas. Legislation was also passed to make the province responsible, not the Crown Corporation. But the federal government needed to agree to that, and now Canada Revenue Agency has made a decision. Sask Energy is now off the hook. The provincial government is solely responsible for collecting the carbon tax on natural gas and sending that money to Ottawa. If they don't, there could be fines or even jail time. But there still remains so many unanswered questions. My question would be, how has the CRA authorized this? Unless there's a different act somewhere, and I'm reading the wrong one, this doesn't appear to be permissible under the federal greenhouse gas pollution pricing. And these questions aren't being answered. The CRA has yet to respond to our request for comment, and same goes for the federal environment minister. Even if this is being allowed under the federal carbon pricing law, Andrew Leach says Ottawa ripping up a key piece of its environmental policy makes very little sense legally or politically. Saying, you know, we're going to, as the federal government, just sort of be fine with a provincial government overriding federal law. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just ignore the federal law ourselves, to me, seems like an absolutely terrible road to go down. Saskatchewan has not been collecting the carbon tax on natural gas since January 1st, and those fees are due in Ottawa by the end of this month. But with about a week to go, the province says they have yet to make a decision on those payments. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.